And we're live. Welcome, everyone. We're back with more Dr. Mario. Indeed. Mario's not finished curing that Petri dish or whatever the heck he's doing. Just tossing mega vitamins into a jar and hoping it all works itself out. <laughs> uh, abstract video game premises. That's video games for you. So uh, last time I went over the myriad reasons I had for wanting to play Dr. Mario. You know, aside from right. running out of time on my original project. <laughs> yeah, Roger saw the writing on the wall on that one a week and a half ago. <laughs> if only I had listened. Ah, still time. Yes. Well, as I've mentioned, the game is turning 30 this July. Fortuitous timing, even if it is sort of by accident. Dumb luck. My favorite kind of luck. <laughs> But aside from all that, I felt it was thematically appropriate, given the events transpiring right now in this year of 2020. Yeah. Because as some of you may have heard, there's a bit of a bug going around right now. Yeah, there's an understatement. <laughs> That being said, we're not here to talk about the pandemic, since that would just bum people out. Not to mention we're not qualified. Mm. No. What, what my aim is, is to provide a distraction. Something for people to take their minds off of the crisis for a while. Ooh, nice. How noble of us. Indeed. Because it is our duty, as YouTubers, to provide entertainment during this time of crisis. Indeed, how heroic. <laughs> A nobler cause has never been stated. Indeed. And what better way to tell the virus to bug off than show Mario defeating some bugs. Mm. We could all use Dr. Mario right now. Exactly. So yeah, don't get too bummed out by the news. Nope. Take solace in Dr. Mario. Precisely. And it's uh, not like we could uh, speak professionally about this anyway. You should listen nope. to the experts and uh, not two jerks on YouTube. <laughs> two random jerks on YouTube. Yep, that's us. <laughs> there are some pretty obvious steps you can take, though, that uh, I feel I can repeat. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty obvious. Stay inside, avoid other humans as much as possible, wash your hands excessively. And the sort of stuff I've been doing for years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my life is sad. Hey, you had a good training, at least. Yep. Yeah, if things hit the fan, I'll, I'll be the only one uh, going outside to walk the dog Poor or guy. something and uh, saying, Where is everyone today? <laughs> You'd be Will Smith and uh, what was the movie again? I am here. I am Legend. Mm, I, I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, yeah, the last it, it would be like York. yeah, a, a last uh, man alive sort of scenario. <laughs> but yeah, it's important to stay informed about things. But what may be even more important than all of that is to every once in a while turn the news off. Turn right. off the news. Don't don't watch it all the time because uh, that will just depress you. It'll wear you down. Yep. Knowing sure exactly does. how many cases there are in your area at the end of the day probably isn't going to help. What you need to do is take care of yourself. You should ask yourself, am I healthy? Is my family healthy? Am I taking precautions? All the necessary precautions? If the answer to those questions is yes, then you're probably going to be just fine. Yep. Very well said. And I'm not healthy because I'm obese, so I need to hit the gym. <laughs> except, it, except I can't go because it's not allowed now, so I have a well, problem. There's never been a better time to stay inside and play video games. Guess I do dump and jumping jacks or something then. <laughs> So yeah, you know, distract yourself from the news, um, spend time with your family, and spend time, you know, finding things to entertain yourself. Play video games, uh, binge watch Theme of Groans, or whatever the heck it is you kids watch these days. Binge watch our work, so here's our YouTube video. Watch all our videos right now. 
Roger has plenty of content to enjoy. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so, you know, figure out how to beat Dark Souls. Do do something time-consuming uh, that, that you'll enjoy. Yeah. So, that's my PSA. PSA done. Let's get back to nuking viruses. There we go. That's my language. Well, not really. I'm not that good at this game. But <laughs> well, another level beat. Yep. You're doing very well. Saving the world one jar at a time. Nice. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can oh. see how full they're starting to get. Oh man, I'm, it's I'm intimidated. I don't even have to play and I'm already intimidated. <laughs> well, uh, I think I brought this up in the last video. Look on the bright side. Uh, if I if I lose, you'll get to listen to the other soundtrack. Whew. That was my promise to you. That's right. So, at least I got something to look forward to. If you lose, I got my favorite song. So, you have a time limit per stage? Or do you only die if you just hit the top of the bottle? Yeah, the uh, top of the bottle becomes obstructed, then uh, it's uh, level done for you. Alright, but other than that, you can take your time for all eternity. Well, not really, because uh, I don't know whether it's based on uh, how many things have fallen or how many objects you've cleared, but the levels do get faster over time. Oh boy. The, the speed increases incrementally the longer you take to complete a stage, so eventually you're just going to get overwhelmed. And may I just nice say that that was a good combo right there. Oh boy. That was a good combo, yeah. Almost as if I had planned it. You did? <laughs> Probably I'm gonna assume not. you did. <laughs> you know what? Assume I did. It'll boost my ego. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's a lot of planning, a lot of strategizing, but also a lot of luck. Right. Dumb luck. <laughs> I wonder what smart luck luck looks like. Hmm. That's a good question. Kind of planning. Maybe, it maybe out he's married to Lady Luck. Ah. I guess so. I'm not sure how to approach those viruses on the left. I might have to do it from below. Because uh, getting getting anything on top of them at this point is going to be kind of difficult. Seeing as uh, things are dropping kind of fast now. Uh huh. What I did just there may not have been a good idea either. Hold on. Got there it. we go. Oh, nice. That satisfying jingle again. That makes the games... Nice, satisfying combo sound. It's simple stuff, but it pleases our brains for some reason. Our brains are simple-minded dudes. Mm. That's why McDonald's is still popular, I guess. <laughs> well, I, I can't help but love some good-tasting food. Oh, there you go. It's the simple things in life that matter, right? Yep. Like murdering lots of viruses. <laughs> You're doing very well, I'm impressed. It looked very intimidating five minutes, eh, oh, ten seconds ago even. Mm. Yeah, things can turn around quick in the game. In both directions, I might add. <laughs> okay, what was I doing with this? Uh, maybe that? Oh, no, wait. Yeah, that's only three. That's not a row of four. What am I thinking? Uh -oh. That is what you were thinking. I uh, meant to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like one of those drunken kung fu masters pretending oh, you're yeah, dumb. Oh yeah, drunken but, master style. But secretly you're having all these brilliant plans. Uh, Aim over there, head over here. Exactly. I think that's a line from uh, Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesomeness. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Roger and I actually watched Kung Fu Panda when he uh, visited me that one time. Yeah, only the second one. Yeah, the second movie, that's right. We didn't watch the first. Uh, you, you haven't seen the first one yet? Yeah, I did, I have. Oh, you have seen the first Kung Fu Panda. What did you think of it? Uh, it was okay, although I don't really like the premise of the whole... Like, it has a big emphasis on the hero having his dreams and then gets heartbroken halfway through. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's just... that thing that you described not liking in a blog that one time. It's, yeah, that's uh... one of the... 
it, I, I pointedly asked when I showed you Kung Fu Panda the first time, uh, you, you could point out that thing you don't like, the exact, the exact moment it happens, but I don't think uh, yeah. you felt it did in that film. Well, it, it isn't the worst example. I've seen worse. Uh, yeah. I, I think the pirate movie uh, from Art Fork did it the worst. Uh, ah, do you mean Artman? Do you mean Artman Animations, the uh, Wallace and Gromit people? Yeah, they they had like a pirate okay, movie. Okay, right. It's it's Ardman, not Ardvark. Though they both start with two A's, so I'd forgive you for <laughs> making that uh, confusion. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoyed that pirate movie, but but uh, just right before the climax, it went into a weird direction and felt forced. Oh well. It seemed weird to me from the start. Well, midway through the movie, uh, I I mean I haven't seen the whole thing, but uh, my mom was watching part of it on TV that one time, and I was looking right. over. Uh, over his shoulder. I was like, oh, what's this? It looks weird. <laughs> yeah, that's a claymation for you. Always has this weird, creepy eh, style to it. Oh. Well, I, I, I liked Wallace and Gromit. Sure. Although, if you watch the very first one, when they go to the moon, it also has a weird, creepy style to it. Yeah. It's very well, primitive. That movie was, uh, well, not a movie, but a short uh, animated film. But it was going to be very different at the beginning. Um, they had a much more ambitious vision for it. Huh. Fun fact here that I'm going into. Uh, yeah, they, they wanted to do a scene with all sorts of aliens. To, right. to kind of like parody, parody the uh, cantina scene from Star Wars. Ah. That's what I hear, anyway. Sure. Yep, cleaning up nicely once again. Doing the best I can. Alrighty. The pressure! The pressure! Ooh. It does look very stressful, yeah. I'm glad I'm just watching. <laughs> sort of interesting. But I'll get that one. There we go. And that'll clear all those guys. You're doing very well. That Stop one that. I, I want my cool music. <laughs> oh, you planned something? That's nice. Yeah. Got got a like a cross formation of a whole bunch of them there. <laughs> there we go. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that one. So there's Suppose only that black one. Oh, yeah, you were saying? There's only three varieties of viruses then. I this believe part. that's the way it is in uh, every Dr. Mario game, but yeah. And naturally they were in color in the NES version. Of course, yeah. Red, blue, and yellow, of course. Mm. But yeah, with columns and all, you have like five different shapes to uh, deal with. Oh yeah, yeah. You get like uh, three varieties of gem or whatever, and they come in different uh, patterns. You could swap them a bit, but you know, I honestly think columns is a bit harder than this. Yep. Because, like I said, I, I never got all that far in columns, in spite of me really liking the game. It's not easy, no. Because even if you don't know what you're doing, you eventually get a really cool combo in columns, and it's just <laughs> it's just so pleasing. Oh, I love filling up the whole screen with blocks and columns, and then, just then leaving you get one. a yeah random lucky move that just clears most and then of them just right combo, out. Combo. Oh. Then I just deliberately leave one column, one row open, <laughs> and then throw in one block in there, and just and then it just goes off like hundreds of combos. Uh, so you can oh. set off chain reactions uh, fairly re fairly reliably. Well, it's dumb luck, but hey, we love our dumb luck, right? Yes, we do. Seems to be the theme of today's episode. It's the theme of my life. <laughs> I should get those guys. Yeah, there we go. I'm too focused on uh, clearing away the stuff that I put in the jar that I'm forgetting about the viruses <laughs> that I'm supposed to be eliminating. Cleaning up your own mess. Yeah. It doesn't have to be clean, Mike! doesn't have to be clean. There can be mega vitamins left over in the jar, and the world will not end. But hey, you know what they call it if you have to clean up your own medicine mess? Uh, you no. You have to eat your own medicine? Oh, right. You have to have a dose of your own medicine. There you or go. Or something to that effect. Nice. 
Man, there's two last ones. Yeah, I can get them. It's just gonna take a minute. There's a couple of them right there. I'm gonna wait for a white piece so I can drop that black part there without uh, getting rid of it. But of course, Dr. Mario isn't cooperating. Ooh, lucky. No, I, I meant to do that. That was not luck. I, I planned that. Sure. <laughs> well, you, if you think that my uh, little combos are amazing, you could look up YouTube videos of uh, people who are crazy good at this game, who are uh, getting to uh, level 20 and even beyond, at the highest speed, I might add. And they're like clearing viruses, if not every move, every other move. And they're setting up, uh, you know, double or triple combos the whole way through. Pretty impressive. That's impressive. Yeah. How are we doing on time so far? Oh, only 16 minutes. We could keep going. But All wow, right. it is getting crazy, this uh, game. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I can make it past level 15, I'll consider that a win. Because at that point, the jar is more than halfway filled with viruses and... <laughs> Uh, unless yeah. you unless you are a, a masochist, uh, you probably don't want to play under those conditions. Boy, oh boy. No. I, I don't oh, think right, I've it's... ever gotten past level 19 on medium speed. Oh, really? What am I going to do about play. this situation over here? Oh, boy. Okay, well, there's a part of it solved. And if I slot that in there, and it didn't go in. Darn it. Uh, okay. I traded one major problem for a slightly smaller one. <laughs> a good exchange. One step forward, two steps back. <laughs> oh, better than that. Yeah, one step back, two steps forward. There you go. Okay, that's where I wanted it to be. What, what am I doing? Um, I don't have much space, things are getting faster. Okay, I fix. I fix, I fix! Like a true Bob. Oh yeah, Bob the Builder. <laughs> I, I wasn't quite uh, the age to uh, watch that when it was popular. Neither am I, but that song is so catchy. Yeah, it is. I have to admit, we all know it, even though we haven't all watched the show. Yeah. I think it's also a pretty good catchphrase for this day and age. Sure. Well, it helped Obama, at least. Okay, doing all right. What am I putting there? Uh... Okay, okay. That was a bit of an accident. I'll, I'll own up to that. A lucky accident. Or in fact, dumb luck. Once more. You call it a happy accident. It's more positive, I guess. Well, we're playing as Mario, so we have to stay positive. Yeah, probably the most optimistic character ever. Indeed. But I think we already brought that up earlier. Yep. Ugh. I can't make Ooh. much progress here. Okay, oh, there's boy. something. I'm, I'm getting my feet this on. and... Okay. Excelente! And the tides Mamma have been mia! Turned. You're so good at this game! Man, looking at the level now, I'm thinking this would be great as like a Smash Bros. level. I'm kinda disappointed they never did. Yeah, they had plenty of good remixes in the Smash Brothers games, but never a theme stage. Nope. Though, uh, bringing that up, um, I did make some Tetris theme stages with the uh, Brawl level editor. Oh, really? Super Smash Brothers Brawl. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame I don't know where the heck that Nintendo Wii went, because 
That stuff's lost to history, then. Oh well, he got the memories. Hmm. Well, they weren't that complex. I could probably recreate them fairly accurately. As soon as you get a new Wii. Yeah. Or find the old one. I'd, I'd much prefer to do that. Good point. Okay, what is going on right now? Holy moly. Yeah, you can see how quick the acceleration is now. Oh. Better you than me. Mm. Tisk tisk, we're all in this together. Didn't my PCA, uh, no, not PCA, PSA make it through to you? What the heck is a PS PCA? <laughs> That makes you think of the ASPCA, but, uh, they're involved with animals. Sounds like an old computer in my brand. Uh, I, I think, I think this is it, folks. I think I've lost. Yep. Uh, nuts. Oh well, better luck next video. With my song playing, finally! Oh, yeah, good point. Uh, we're past 20, 20 minutes now. So, good. uh... Yeah. Okay, well, uh... We made it to uh, level 11, and uh, we're going to pick up where we left off on the next one, except uh, on that one we'll be uh, using the Fever soundtrack instead, <laughs> and I'll, I'll switch the palette to the, uh, to the warmer colors. Ah, so, nice. uh, yeah, Roger's looking forward to that. But uh, yep. until then, thank you all so much for watching. This is Mike the Reaper 86 and Roger from the Vader. Signing off. Bye-bye.